detecting talk of the day. Monday, April the 22nd, 6.02 a.m., 62 years ago, Easter Sunday, the good Lord brought the world a sharpshooter. 62 years ago today. Now what are we going to talk about today? I'm going to show you a clip from uh, Detecting NYC, a video he's done. I think it was done approximately a year ago. I'm going to show you this clip because this is directly tied to what I have been showing you all and even telling you all as far as some of these targets that could be left behind. Okay? Now he's got his buddy out there with an Equinox and they're actually comparing signals in a park and they find a Mercury Dam not that deep. I want you to watch what his buddy says when he comes up and checks this with his Equinox. Now he's an experienced Equinox shooter. I want you to listen when he comes up and initially sweeps this target what he tells him. Okay? So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to get this video clip up and let you watch it. And then I'll have some commentary afterwards. Let me just dig a lot, get more comfortable with this, then we'll do some more comparisons. All right, I took my headphones off. This one is a little doubter. This is just punching five arrows down. Let me show you the screen. I'd call this a little doubter, Jeff. Right here. Right there? Right here. All right. Sounds like iron. All right, sounds like iron. You know, it's funny, I actually didn't remember him saying that. I remember him telling me on this signal, like, enjoy your silver. It's pinging. It's pinging. Yeah, that's, I hear the ping on that. So that's a strong signal to you. Yeah, that could be uh, a coin with iron around it. That's a prospect, uh, that's, that's prospect for you. Man. Prospect special right here. Let's go. Okay, interesting, because... We're getting something here and something here. So it's a double signal. Let's get what's in here first. And I think I see that. And we got, got? whole tab here so far. There's more down here. Oh, silver. We got silver. Right. There we go. This is getting tougher and tougher what? to do. I have no idea how hard that is. Oh, and guess what it is, Jeff? Why? But what coin loves me, Jeff? A Merc? Of course. Yeah, but look at that, man. Yeah, there we go. Hey, I'm Sucker. happy. I'm not. Thanks, brother. Thanks, look brother. Who got it. See, here it there is. Go. Right, metal right metal in the middle. Metal. Metal. How many people have been over, over and over and over this spot? That's true. All, All right. right, so officially, let's put Let that turn the camera uh, seven off. inches down. So okay, camera back on. Okay, he said it was seven inches deep. It looked like to me that baby was face up. Now think about that. And this is a site that people had been in before. Notice what his buddy said when he walked up to that target. Now you can go over to his channel and watch this entire video if you choose. His buddy initially said that sounded like iron. And also, the manicure, notice what it was doing. The ID was coming down, I think I seen 74 in the meter, and then it would go up into the 90s. A mercury dime don't read 90. If that dime, and I, now this is what I think, if that dime, if that pull tab would not have been above that dime, 
that machine probably would have never reported in the 90s. Okay? That pull tab was causing that machine to overshoot for ID. And I would almost bet you, but we don't know this, that that pull tab was sort of on edge. It was bothering that manicure, and it was bothering that Equinox. Okay? Now, that gentleman that came up with that Equinox, and I've talked about this, well, you manicure user, remember you've got that soft key on there for a favorites program. If either one of those gentlemen, if that Equinox user would have went to field two, or the manicure user would have went to all-terrain low conductors, what do you think they would have seen? Let me turn this camera off briefly. So odds are, with that manicure, if you would have went and used your soft key with all-terrain low conductor set up, you would have probably seen a drop in the ID. You might have even seen the ID come up as you got sort of away from that pull tab. But it probably would have never trended into the 90s. Might not have even got up to 80. Okay. Depending on the orientation of that pull ring, if it would have been tilted a little more, the initial hit on that with that Manicore detector, it might have been given like a high 60s reading or a low 70s reading. Okay, so when you're in those parks with that Manicore, and you see those signals, and maybe you're trying to select dig or the signal sounds chopped, I suspect that's what the Equinox man heard. And I don't know how he had his machine set up exactly. But what that pull tab did, is it caused that signal to shudder. And that's why he, when he come up there, he said, oh, it sounds like it's got some iron in with it. Well, that's because that pull ring has got that machine cramped. And he may have been running some discrimination on his machine. I don't know. Okay, but that's a good, clear example right there of how you could use your soft key on your manicure. And you could, he could have, Merrill could have actually used that on that target. And he would have said, uh-oh, looky here. He would have had a good idea that that pull ring, or, you know, a junk non-ferrous lower conductor was down there before he dug the hole. You see, there's still not a detector. Oh, and I was, I'll throw this in here too. A day is two with 11 inch call on that situation wouldn't have done as good at approach to that target. Okay, I don't know what you would have got exactly. You probably, you wouldn't have got as high ID when you do the comparison between the models, the day is two and the manicore. You wouldn't have got as high ID. Especially running no notch. That situation right there with the DS2 running no notch, you could have easily left that dime in the ground, and that may have been what's happened with that target. So you see, wonder if wonder if Merrill would have never found that pull tab. There could have been some onlookers watching that video. And they might have said, oh, that manicure, that ID ain't worth a shit on that thing. That ID was all over the place. And turns out that dime was face up. Do you know what that manicure and that mild dirt will do to that dime face up? Alterate high conductors, it'll light it up like a Christmas tree. And you're not going to see the ID do what it did on that machine, chances are. 
Now, I don't believe there was any iron with that target. Okay. And those, when you're running that ultra-rain high conductor, some of that lower conductive trash, it, it can be very dim on that screen. It'd be hard for you to see it. Okay, depending on where the call is at, yet it could still affect your target, your high conductive target. Okay, so in a site like they're in there that's had some real pressure put on it, using that soft key on that machine and going to all terrain low conductors could do you some wonders. Okay. Even on some lower reading targets, targets that are targets that are like zinc and penny range. Okay. Well, anyway, it is extremely cold here for this time of the year. This is probably the biggest frost late in the season that I've ever seen. And frost is already starting to lift a little bit. Because the ground is so warm, but now here about 35, 40 minutes ago, boy, she was snow white here. I hope everybody has a nice day.